Hey guys, Dylan Sider with Kinfo Carpentry here, and today we're going to be talking about the cordless DeWalt seven and a quarter miter saw. It's right up here. I just did a truck video not too long ago, and uh, it lives just in my truck all the time because it's so small and compact, and that's what's so nice about it. And right off the bat, I'm going to say the only con with this entire saw is that it only bevels one way. It only bevels to the left, so knowing that, you know, there is some limitations with it, but honestly, that's the only thing I don't like about this saw. The model number is DCS361, seven and a quarter, cordless sliding compound miter saw. First things first, we'll talk about some of the features on the saw. Um, right here on the right hand side, it comes with a tool to take the blade out um, and fit any of the like locks in here to adjust your fence or blade detent so that uh, you can keep your saw square. Uh, up here is to lock the slider back and forth so it doesn't move during transport. Um, and then this here little pin locks it down. Battery, usually I keep a five amp hour battery on it or a flex volt I use a lot. It would get me like a full day of trim work on a single charge. It does not eat batteries. It's it's really efficient on batteries. So uh, I've always been really impressed with that feature on the saw. Coming around to this side, it has a dust port. Uh, if, you're, if you're a DeWalt guy and you have a DeWalt dust extractor, it does have that quick connect for DeWalt. Um, up top here, there's a light button to illuminate the blade. Uh, it basically gives you a perfect cut line. Instead of using a laser, it projects light along the blade and gives you kind of a shadow line of where your blade's going to cut, and it's really accurate. I really like it. So uh, that's a really good feature of the saw. Down here is your adjustment for left to right. This is your lock to unlock. And then if you're not in a detent, you lock it down by pushing this handle down. These little bolts here... Uh, they have them on each side is an adjustment for your square so if you if you want to be able to put like a one degree going this way because it doesn't bevel this way you could adjust this down so that you could cut a slight back bevel on something um, and then this here this side is to adjust for square the other side so um yeah those are adjustments for that up here is your blade lock so that when you're removing your blade, it locks the chuck so you can remove the bolt. So how you adjust the bevel here is just loosen this here, move it to 45, tighten it, you know. It's got a nice big grip on it so that you can really tighten it down, make sure it's not gonna move on you. So this saw can cut a two by six at 45 um, or a 2x8 at 90 degrees. Um, so that's the cut capacity on it. This saw weighs 30 pounds, whereas like a full-size 12-inch saw weighs 56 pounds. So it's like next to half the weight of a full-size saw. So, I mean, that's probably the biggest benefit with it. It's just the size of it and the weight of it. Um, super easy to just carry around. You can buy this saw right now for 350 bucks, bare tool. I paid a whole lot less when I bought it quite a few years ago, um, but I still at th still think at 350 that's a great deal. If you pair, currently what I have for saws is I just have a DeWalt, just straight chop, not slider, um, and this. Mostly I use this saw for a lot of my trim, like three and a quarter trim, four inch baseboard, or if I'm doing like big baseboard, uh, I'll cut it upright with my 12 inch straight chop and I do all my crown on my big saw as well. So this is basically used for most of my miter saw tasks other than crown molding and like tall baseboards. Um, another big benefit to this is 
uh, the blade size, seven and a quarter is a super common size. It's like your standard circular saw uh, blade. So they're relatively cheap to buy. You can buy bulk packs. Framing blades are super cheap for this thing. And a finished blade is not, is not that expensive either. So I usually keep a finished blade on it and I make sure I just keep a sharp blade. It comes with a dust bag that you can put on it, but I uh, have misplaced it. I'm sure it's around somewhere. It fills up with dust, but honestly, after a day of cutting, it's full and then it's blowing everywhere anyway, so I never tend to worry about it. I just sweep up after I'm done using it. I remember seeing a really small saw on a job site once and thinking it was like kind of pointless. I'm like, why would someone even have that? It seems like you limit what you can actually cut with it. Why wouldn't you just have a 12 inch so you can cut everything? I started working for a company and they had this exact same saw. Still kind of thought it was a little bit goofy, but then uh, it got put in my company van and I carried it with me and I found the convenience of it outweighs kind of the downside of not being able to cut large material. It's so light that you can just, um, if you need to, if you need to cut something on like a second or a third floor of a house, uh, it's super nice to bring it, bring it to where you are working. Yeah. It's nice to load in and out of a vehicle. If you have a 12 inch saw, you know how heavy they are and annoying they are to set up. Uh, this, I usually just set up either some saw horses or a little work table and just cut off that. A lot of my work is remodeling. So I wouldn't say I have like miles of trim to install. Um, I, I'm like usually doing like four pieces of baseboard in a bathroom or and then a few doors out. And this thing works more than, uh, it's more than sufficient for doing stuff like that. Um, and it also cuts two by fours, two by sixes. You know, I use it for framing because why not if it's so easy to set up. Most of the time I use a circular saw to cut framing material if I'm framing a lot of stuff just because it's easy to just work off your pile. But um, this is more than powerful enough to cut a two by four. So this is a chunk of two by six. Um, this is a six amp hour battery with a full charge. As you can see, it blows through that like nothing. Uh, it's got plenty of power. So impressed with the saw. It was the first tool I bought when I went out on my own because I knew how much I loved it and how uh, valuable this saw is. Yeah.